What's going on, everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Ron DeSantis, Governor Ron DeSantis, my governor, the Chad governor, stands up and destroys Biden and basically tells him to go F himself. And it is absolutely beautiful. And this is exactly what we need. This is exactly what we need. And DeSantis might be a better choice than Trump in 2024. He absolutely might be. I mean, the dude is so on point. I love this guy so much. Let's listen to what he has to say. We're going to listen to a couple we're going to listen to a couple of comments from him and then a report from Jack Posobiec about Biden's response. Woo, this is good. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, that is the man. I'm, I can't. I got to watch it one more time. I got to watch it one more time. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, he also had this to say. If you're trying to deny kids a proper in-person education, I'm going to stand in your way and I'm going to stand up for the kids in Florida. If you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. So why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. Love this dude so much. I love this dude so much. Now, this is from Jack Posobiec. Biden got heated watching DeSantis presser in, uh, in the White House and went, this guy, oh man. Oh gosh, dude. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Ron DeSantis debating Joe Biden? I mean, it, it would be it, it would be unbelievably one sided. And look, DeSantis might be he might be the right choice. And I will absolutely uh, leave that open uh, for discussion because, you know, everyone knows I'm a, I'm a big Trump fan. I think Trump did create a lot of his own problems, no doubt about it. Um, but I also understand that he was facing um, uh, an enormous battle um, once he, he stepped into the role of the president of the United States and battling a lot of the, uh, the people in Washington, uh, DeSantis is, uh, uh, there's a lot of similarities with DeSantis, but there's also, um, a lot that DeSantis brings that I think won't hurt the campaign like Trump, uh, does in a lot of ways. Um, ultimately I'm good with either one and my, my, I really hope that it's Trump DeSantis, and then obviously they win, and then four year, more years of Trump, and then DeSantis runs, and we get eight years of DeSantis. That would be the perfect scenario for me. Um, but I, you know, willing to listen to what everybody else has to say. And as we move further into um, this whole situation, we're going to see how it all plays out and, and see how Trump decides he wants to, to manage this. But DeSantis. DeSantis has just got it right now. He has got the people's attention. Um, he is on point. And if he is ruffling Biden's feathers, which again, if you're not following Jack Posobiec, if you're on social media, you should be because Jack Posobiec is way ahead of a lot of the stuff going on. He's been telling us for a week now that the White House is going to target um, you know, DeSantis and Florida because Florida's done such a fantastic job, and DeSantis has done such a fantastic job, but they were going to target DeSantis because they feel like he's a, a very strong contender for 2024, which he absolutely is. So their whole point is to try to go after him uh, and paint a negative picture because these, these people are not interested in the well-beings of the American people. They're interested in their narratives. Um, now, again, as we always talk about, I have my opinions on this. You can have your opinions. If you disagree with my opinions, that's totally fine. I'm not here to give you any advice on what you should be doing. I'm not telling you what you should think. I'm telling you what I think. 
and I'm giving my opinion. If you think that my opinion is valid, thank you for watching. If you think my opinion is uh, invalid, go find another channel that you think gives you a better insight or go speak with someone that's a professional in these fields. Um, not really my business. I'm just here to give my opinion. And in my opinion, Ron DeSantis is making Florida great, and he will potentially make America great again, along with Donald Trump's support in some capacity. But it's going to be exciting to see how this all plays out. But DeSantis is the man. Joe Biden is furious right now. Could you imagine Could you imagine Kamala Harris actually trying to have a discussion with DeSantis? I mean, she's so unqualified for the position she's in. And we know Biden is. Biden doesn't even know what day of the week it is. Um, but, but Harris is uh, even far more dangerous than Biden, in my opinion, uh, because she's so incredibly, incredibly unqualified for the position she is in. But that's the identity politics card um, that they played, and she was elevated based on identity politics because we watched Tulsi Gabbard absolutely annihilate her in the debate, uh, embarrass her beyond belief. And, of course, the mainstream really kind of tried to sweep that under the rug and not discuss that too much because that made uh, Kamala Harris look bad because— she is bad, and she's very, very ignorant. She's not smart, and she's not really qualified for the position she's in, but she's been elevated based on identity politics. Um, we'll, all, we'll all see how this all plays out, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. The Chad governor, the Chad governor Ron DeSantis versus the virgin Joe Biden. Absolutely awesome. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.